Welcome for this weekly recap of the blockchain news. I'm Julian, and on it the blogs I have Web2 developers transition into Web3. If you want to know how you can get your first job in Web3, check out my free training. The link is in the description. Ether maintained its value above 2,500 this week. The new proof of stake testnet Killen was just launched and you can run a validator node to help to test the proof of work switch off. The name of the proof of work switch off event has been named Paris. More than 10 million ETH has been deposited in the Ethereum staking contract. A Reddit user predicted that the Ethereum merge is likely to happen in June this year. Only fan donated 500 ETH to the Ukraine DAO. The venture capital firm BCMR launched a new DAO and committed $250 million to invest in Web3 startup. The DeFi market cap is still trending down, currently at $73 billion. The share of DeFi for Ethereum dropped below 55% for the first time. Euron Finance goes down by 13% after Andre Kronhe announcement of leaving crypto. The derivative protocol SEGA secured $4.3 million in funding. The Singaporean fintech firm Cake DeFi launched a $100 million fund to invest in a Web3 company. The Bacon protocol was exploded for $1 million with a re-entrancy bug. A vulnerability was discovered in the Idols marketplace. 50 is and some NFTs were at risk but no funds were lost. Yuga Labs, the maker of Bold Ape Yak Club, acquired CryptoPunk and MeBeats and planned to give NFT holder commercial rights. The NFT marketplace aggregator GEM announced an integration with LuxRare. Quick announcement from our sponsor Nervous. Do you have what it takes to become the new Web3 champion? Our sponsor Nervous is organizing the first Web3 championship ever and they will also give away some NFTs for free. This hackathon, the first one in 2022 for Nervous, will be like a real sport competition. There will be four different challenges, a 100 meter dash, a relay, a marathon, and an art attack. You can join as a coding team or a solo developer. For the 100 meter challenge, it's obviously all about speed. You will have to port adapt to Nervous as fast as you can. For the relay challenge, you have to work in a team and have complementary skills if you want to win. For the marathon, you'll have more time to complete your task, but the bar will be higher when it comes to quality, you'll have to create a meaningful dab. Last but not least, in the Art Attack Challenge, you will have to create a mind-blowing NFT project and launch it. But why should you join? First of all, we're here to learn, and this competition will allow you to learn lots of new stuff and make super fast progress. But we're not going to ask you to work for free. And I know you're used to being spoiled as a Web3 developer, and Nervous is going to be very generous. They'll be giving away $75,000 in cash prize to the winners. And for the first 500 developers who sign up, you will get some free NFTs. So go register on websweetchamps.com. Stratos launched a no-code NFT platform to mean project on Arbitrum. Stripe just released a crypto feature. It includes on-off ramps, KYC, identity verification, and fraud prevention. Hat Hat for VS Code is now in beta. The extension will allow Solidity code completion, code navigation, formatting, and quick fix suggestion. That's it for today. Bye.